Welcome to my channel. In this session, I am going to explain your problem on convolution encoder. So, this is the problem given. For the below diagram of convolution encoder having rate of 1 by 2 and constraint length 3, determine first one dimension of the code, code rate, third one constraint length, fourth one generating sequence, and fifth one output sequence. This is the diagram they have given. As I said, uh, it is a convolution encoder is nothing but consisting of a shift register. A shift register in the sense flip flops grouped together. So the number of flip flops is based on the input uh, uh, input uh, rate that is messages you are given. So here two flip flops are used with a connectivity point at three uh, three uh, three points. This is the connectivity point. If there is a connection established to the modulo 2 adder, then it is set to have 1. If it is no connection, then it is established as 0. So, for the above modulo 2 adder, here there are two modulo 2 adders, right? Here adder 1 and adder 2. Here this is connected to modulo 2 adder, so the connection is established, so it is input 1. And here it is connected, so this is also connected, so the output will be 1. Whereas here it is also connected, so it is 1. Whereas for the bottom case, here it is connected to the modulo 2 adder 2 and here the second one is not connected, so it is 0 and third one is also connected, so it is 1. So the sequence which is here is 1, 1, 1 and this one is for modulo 2 adder is 1, 0, 1. So this output may arise like this or our output appears like this in case of since x1 and x2 are the outputs. It uh, takes the output of x1, x2, x1, x2, x1, x2, x1, x2 and goes on like this. So this is what you should understand the problem is. For this if you write the given case, you should write given is nothing but they have given the code rate 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is nothing but R as we have specified from the base of the problem. Here R is nothing but N by K. So what is N is nothing but your input and k is nothing uh, but the sorry n is nothing but the output and k is the output so here n is equal to 1 and k is equal to 2 and constraint length k is here capital k is 3 uh, to find so next you should write what is to find so to find you can write all these specified terms so determine is nothing but to find so you can write all those terms here code division n comma k what is your code rate what is your code length, constraint length, what is your generating sequence and what is your output sequence. So for this if you write the solution, if you go in this order the presentation will be very neat and uh, the present the understanding of the problem will be also easy. So first one is you need to find out code dimension, what is code dimension is nothing but specifying your convolution encoder in terms of n comma k. So what is here n is nothing but 1 and what is your k is 2. So here n comma k. Next is code rate. What is your uh, code rate? R is nothing but n by k. So the specified input k n by k is nothing but 1 by 2. So the rate of the convolution encoder actually they have given directly. You can write directly from the question itself. And third one is also directly they have given the constraint length is nothing but 3. So you could write 3 directly. Next one is that we are going to find the generating sequence. For this generating sequence you should understand this operation of the convolution encoder diagram and then we go with the output sequence. In order to identify this uh, generating sequence you need to note generating sequence is generated in terms of generator polynomial. Here since we are having two sequences here since we are having two uh, generating that is it can be generated by means of modulo to adder 1 as well as modulo to adder 2. So it produces generator polynomial of 1 and generator polynomial of 2 case that is one is x1 uh, case and another one is x2 case output. So for this uh, case uh, let the message polynomial so we need to obtain what is message polynomial first. So let the message polynomial is to be assumed because here there is no message polynomial given the message polynomial is represented as m of p this m of p here i am assuming let means i am assuming myself because there is no uh, directly they have given or specified any message polynomial so what is your m of p here i am taking is 100111 
so this is the message polynomial i am considering for the for this case so uh, let me explain the other case here side by side if another message polynomial so that is second case if i am taking a message polynomial of 11011 means let me execute it parallelly so this is the message polynomial for the second case so because i want to explain you to differentiate how this message polynomial is involved with a generating sequence so for this case the message polynomial generally the message polynomial you know the polynomial series appears in terms of 1 into p power 1 plus 1 into p power uh, sorry p power 0 1 into p power 1 plus 1 into p power 2 plus 1 into p power 3 it goes on till 1 into p power n so for n sequences polynomial it goes on like this it uh, multiplies with the uh, sequence of a polynomial whether it is ones or zeros then we can modify it accordingly so for this case this is the general case so this is the general case so considering now considering with this message polynomial what we have taken so i am taking it here specify it in here here the message polynomial m of p is nothing but 1 0 0 1 so here this one is nothing but if you want you could specify here this is 0 position 1 2 3 fourth position so here this is the position range so for this polynomial case you should write what is message polynomial here that is 1 into p power 0 because 1 is present here plus the term second one is 0 instead of this the present term is 0 0 into p power 1 plus 0 next term is also 0 into p power 2 plus next term is 1 into p power 3 plus 1 into p power 4 so here this terms gets vanished so p power 1 and 2 is not present what is p power 0 anything power 0 is always 1 p power 0 is 1 so this becomes 1 here 1 plus this term is 0 so you can leave it as such and the, what about this term this term is present and this term is present so 1 into p power 3 is nothing but p power 3 1 into p power 4 is nothing but p power 4 so for our assumption the message polynomial is this case so similarly if i am considering the case for this so now you assume similarly for this message polynomial how it will be it is nothing but 1 into p power 0 1 into p power 1 this term is 0 0 into p power 2 plus 0 into p power 3 plus 1 into p power 4 plus 1 into p power 5 so here also you could uh, specify it as 0 1 2 3 4 5 so from this red red uh, if you write these terms with other color or any other specific term you could id- easily identify p power 2 and p power 3 term is not present so finally you will get the message polynomial as first term is present so it is 1 the second term is present so it is p power 1 p power 2 is not present p power 3 is not present whereas p power 4 and p power 5 is present so this will the, um, be the message polynomial for when you take the message signal as 110011 so this message polynomial if they are giving in the question you should follow for the given value with this combination if they have and given any message polynomial you can as- assume any number of bits at least 4 to 5 bits and you can proceed with the same so next coming to the generating polynomial so our we need to generate generating polynomial sequence so here generating polynomial sequence of gp of 1 is nothing but uh, from the diagram you should see from the diagram the sequence for modulo to adder is 1 1 1 1 so write this here it is 1 1 1 1 whereas for generating polynomial sequence for 2 is for the modulo to adder it is 1 0 1 so here it is 1 0 1 so for this case if you consider for this case if you consider uh, you can you could write the polynomial sequence as gp of 1 is nothing but 1 plus p power 1 plus p power 2 that is the first case here is 
1 and 2. For this case it is 0, 1 and 2. So here it becomes GP of 2 which is nothing but uh, 1 plus P power 2. So this is you are obtaining. For this you need to identify last term is your output sequences. When you when you need to find your output sequences so this is the step you need to follow that is output is nothing but here they have specified here as if the diagram they are specifying the uh, variables you go with that else you can take any variable uh, under your choice so here uh, the choice given is x1 is as the output and x2 as the output so what is your x1 so x1 of p you should consider in terms of polynomial series it is nothing but you should multiply your message polynomial bit along with the first sequence gp of one sequence so what is your message polynomial is nothing but i have assumed this variable so this is nothing but 1 plus p power 3 plus p power 4 whereas generator polynomial case for 1 is 1 plus p power 1 plus p power 2 so when you multiply these you get you should multiply 1 by 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 1 into p power 1 is p power 1 1 into p power 2 plus p power 3 into 1 p power 3 so p power 3 into oh, that is p power 3 into 1 is p power 3 into p power 1 is p power 3 plus 1 is p power 4 p power 3 into p power 2 is p power 3 plus 2 is p power 5 again you go for this term p power 4 so p power 4 into 1 is p power 4 p power 4 into p power 1 is p power 5 p power 4 into p power 6 is sorry 2 is p power 6 that is 4 plus 2 it is p power 6 so this is the sequence you have obtained so now how you will write the output sequence is when there is a repeated sequence example if the repeated sequence in the sense if p power 2 and p power 2 is repeated you can uh, specify that value as 0 for repeated sequence you should write the value as 0 for non repeated sequence you can specify it as 1 so first you identify what are the repeated sequence and what are the non repeated sequence so p power 1 it is not repeated so you can write here whereas p power 2 it is not repeated you could write here p power 3 is also not repeated whereas p power 4 it gets repeated so you can omit p power 5 is also repeated so you can omit and p power 6 is not repeated so you should write here so for the repeated sequence you could cancel for non repeated sequence you should write to specify it as 1 so for this case for the presence of the sequence bit is 1 plus p power 1 plus p power sorry 1 plus p power 1 plus p power 2 plus p power 3 plus p power 6 so i'll show you how we, this can be written so from the output sequence we have obtained we could specify p power 4 and p power 5 gets omitted so you could write the sequence reliable for this is p power 1 the position is 1 p power 1 is present so it is 1 p power 2 it is present p power 3 it is present whereas p power 4 we are cancelling it because of the occurrence of same bit twice so it is 0 for p power 5 is also it is occurring twice so it is 0 whereas p power 6 it has occurs 1 only once so it is 1 so this is your output sequence so similarly you could calculate for x2 of p that is m of p multiplied by with gp power generator polynomial of second sequence so what is our message polynomial here is the message polynomial here is and we are taking it as the sequence of 1 1 yeah this is the sequence the message polynomial here is 1 0 0 1 1 so for this sequence 1 0 0 1 1 and the generator polynomial sequence is 1 0 1 you should specify what will be the multiplicand term the sequence appearing here is p power 1 plus this is 2 3 it is not present so it is p power 2 3 is not present so it is p power sorry 1 2 is not present p power 3 we should specify like this so this is p power 0 so it is 1 
p power 1 is not present, p power 2 is not present, whereas p power 3 is present and p power 4 is present. Here 1 is present, p power 2, 1 is not present and p power 2 is present. So here multiplying this value 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into p power 2, then p power, p power 3 into 1 and p power 3 into p power 2 is p power 5. Next is p power 4, p power 4 into 1 is p power 4, p power 4 into p power 2 is p power 6. So it becomes, so similarly you could specify these terms for the repeated variable 1 plus p power 2 plus p power 3. Uh, write it in the order of polynomial p power 4 plus p power 5 plus p power 6. So here specify the terms in the order and uh, omit the and assume 0 for the content which is sorry for a variable which is not appearing. So it is p power 0 it is present so it is 1 whereas p power 1 is not present so it is 0 p power 2 is present so it is 1 p power 3 is present p power 4 is present, p power 5 is present, so 1, p power 6 is present, so it is 1. So this is your x2 of p. So now the output sequence, as I said, for the related diagram, the output sequence appears in terms of x1, x2, x1, x2, x1, x2 in the repeated manner. So this sequence, output sequence is given in terms of x1, x2, x1, x2, x1, x2, it goes on for the repeated sequence. So here, here the output sequence is specified in terms of the obtained sequence of x1 and x2, the first bit and the first bit you should specify as the first output sequence. So it is, here it is 1 and here it is 1. So write 1, 1 here and here it is 1 and the next bit here is 0. So it is 1, 0 and here Next bit is 1 and next bit is 1, so 1, 1. And next bit here is 1 and next bit here is 1, so it is 1, 1. For next bit here is 0 and next bit here is 1, so it is 0, 1. Here for next bit here is 0 and next bit here is 1, so it is 0, 1. And last bit for here is 1, last bit here is 1, so it is 1, 1 again. So this is your output sequence. So we have obtained what is our output sequence. So hope you understood this problem. This is the flow you should carry. So for the given diagram, if they are giving the diagram, you could uh, take what is the adder, that is how many model auto adder is present and you could specify the output variable, determine the code rate, the constraint length, then go for the generating sequence. For the generating sequence, you should know the polynomial terms. So this is this term you should remember well. This, if you remember this polynomial well, you could uh, specify for any number of inputs whatever data they are giving. And you should understand the concept of the diagram, how it is connected. So if they are con if the if it is connected with this uh, model O to adder, it is established as one. If the if it is not connected, you could see here this is not connected with this model O to adder. So it is specified as zero. So with this is connected all with one. So it sorry connected with model O to adder. So it is one. So this is how you should identify your generating sequence. Then you can specify with the message sequence and multiply the same to get the output sequence. So message sequence if they are not given you can assume this message sequence uh, to a number of uh, 4 to 5 sequences and you can proceed like this. So this is how you could proceed. Hope you understood this problem. All the very best for your exams. In the next uh, video I will explain you in a different case how this uh, uh, if, if they are giving if they are not giving the diagram and they will be asking with the generating sequence whatever it is generator polynomial given and they will ask you to draw the diagram let me explain you in the next video and uh, one more thing i want to say here is uh, in a question in the last uh, earlier uh, examination for ec 8395 they have asked a question like this uh, that is let me show you they have asked a question like this specifying See this is a problem on in convolution encoder. Consider the convolution encoder shown in the figure below. 
uh, find the impulse response of the encoder and find the output code word if the input sequence is all ones and they have specified number of ones and discuss the result on it and the diagram they have specified so if this is the box the box is nothing but the flip flops what i have mentioned here and you could see here from this first connect first it is connected so it is one so here the output sequence is x1 and x2 this x1 output will be like this x1 1 0 because here there is no connection so the output sequence will be like this 1 1 0 whereas for the next uh, modulo 2 adder you could see the x2 output will be like this 1 is connected whereas the second one is not connected and third one is connected so the modulo 2 adder for x2 will be 1 0 1 so here they have specified the here they have specified the input sequences in our in the problem i have explained i have assumed the sequences you here you could see i have assumed the sequences but here they have mentioned the input sequences all are ones so you could uh, it is extended so you could stop with five or six uh, input sequences and you could multiply and find the output and discuss on the result so what is this impulse response of the encoder don't get confused it is nothing but the generator polynomial sequence what we have obtained so this generator polynomial we have obtained no so this is the sequence they have asked in terms of impulse response so it is not a new term or it is not a different uh, case they have asked it is nothing but the generator polynomial term which is asked in terms of impulse response hope this video will be helpful for you to solve further problems for any type of inputs thank you